we are leaving Hogsback. We are coming down from the clouds. In fact, we actually had really good weather. Amazing. And yeah, this place is lush and green, and the people are great up here. I don't know, it must be the thin air or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe or, one of the stuff that's been grown here too. Yeah, what's the mushrooms or what's the dacha? Ah. But either way, it's makes them all nicer people. <laughs> yeah, these mountain people, um, they know something. And uh, yeah, it's pretty. So if you're into nature, come check this place out. There's a lot to do here. Lots of hiking. Hiking, biking. Um, yeah, so today we are heading towards the sea. Um, we're not quite sure where. We're heading for Coffee Bay direction. We check the weather, it looks like it's going to be a couple of nice days, at least this weekend. And uh, let's see how, how we do. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see you later when we set up camp and find a spot. In the meantime, we're in the Eastern Cape and it's super, the it's super rural and uh, people love their cows here and their goats and their sheep. Potholes here. I'm driving in the right lane now, just to avoid some. But uh, let me show you uh, the cattle up ahead. Are you licking your talk, eh? Hello and welcome back. Fasten your seatbelts as we celebrate Christmas in Coffee Bay. Visit the hole in the wall and almost get stuck. And brush up on your fireside cooking with the best lamb shoulder recipe your grandmother should know. For us, traveling to the Eastern Cape was an opportunity to see how much has changed since our last visit 30 years ago. Driving through what we remember as sleepy little towns, once interspersed with cattle grazing by the roadside, we now find an important agricultural region dotted with settlements stretching across the lush landscape as far as the eye can see. Never right now, but sometime in the future you're gonna... Makeup City Cosmetics. KFC. Just before Christmas, the hustle and bustle is palpable. The traffic is heavy in anticipation of the big annual homecoming. The Eastern Cape is the heart of Tosa culture, and Christmas marks the annual migration home from the big cities. It's an opportunity to spend quality time with family and friends. Driving in the Eastern Cape is probably the most demanding driving experience we've had. Dodging cows, goats, dogs, sheep and chickens, not to mention the potholes. We finally reach our destination in the lush tropical town of Coffee Bay on the wild coast. As we step out of the vehicle, we are engulfed by a thick, soupy, warm and humid air. Swarms of mosquitoes have also made an appearance. We retreat into our tent for an early night.
Today we brave the weather to see the hole in the wall. There has been a huge build-up to see this colossal rock formation jutting up to the ocean. This rock formation stands in the surf of the Indian Ocean, with waves crashing dramatically through the arch, creating a powerful and picturesque scene. In Khosa culture, this rock holds mythical status. According to legend, the hole in the wall was created by the ancestors to connect the sea with the land, symbolizing a gateway to the spiritual world. So stop there and tell me what's the verdict. No, we uh, we would like to cross the river, but uh, it's just too slippery. I don't think we're going to get out. If we get stuck, we won't get out by ourselves. And you know some. what? 
Do you really want to spend Christmas Eve in a ditch? <laughs> <laughs> With the potential of a river flooding with all the rain that we're having. Now it's beautiful here. It's wet, it's rainy, but it's not cold. No, it's definitely not cold. Oh, there come some peeps. region it is the rainy season and we quickly find out to stick to the main roads it is very slippery venture off and find out with no winch or sand tracks in our arsenal we played it safe We are cooking lamb shoulder. In fact, Diane has done everything. I just come along and steal the show. No. Hi, I'm Smokey Robinson, and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> is this your field kitchen? This is my field kitchen. I love the background uh, vibes. Yeah, it's my little chorus in the background. Okay. It's Christmas and we've decided to make something delicious because life has been quite simple in the in the bush kitchen so we're going to mix it up today and we're going to do a very slow roasted lamb shoulder oh that sounds nice and we're going to use a bit of lemon zest and some oregano and garlic and bay and anchovies pepper did i say garlic or some garlic yeah and we're going to make a marinade and lots of onions with some vino and then cook it very very slowly and it's probably four hours what's going on there this is reality tv this is what really happens <laughs> sometimes you get wet wood are you blaming the wood yeah what do we always say a workman never blames his tools well, I'm not blaming the tongs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Ah, oh, I see a flame. Yeah. 
That is amazing. Ah. Cool. We're going to make all the nice things that are... I wouldn't call it a marinade, but I suppose it is. It's more like a rub of nice things. And we're going to put some lemon zest. And we're going to put in some oregano, ground pepper, anchovies, and lemon juice and olive oil. Yeah, in action. So if you'd like to make this recipe, uh, the link will be in the description below. Let's see how the fire's doing. Yeah. It looks good. Something's happening. A touch of garlic. my anchovies and there's a little bit of oil from the anchovies. It's This is the zest from one lemon. Why do we cook on the ground? Because we can. Because you still can, eh? <laughs> you want to say something? Yeah, I want to say something. We want the onions to be golden brown. So, almost getting there. And a touch of garlic. <laughs> and, and just a, a little bit of time to cook it. So four or five hours. <laughs> Push the lid down. You can see, this is what we do for you guys. Don't look. We stand in the rain. Cold. Oh, don't lie, it's not cold. Uh, no, it's freezing. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing cold. <laughs> we stand in the rain, cooking for you guys, entertaining you, suffering out in the elements. But you know what? We get to eat the lamb. <laughs> it's what? It's a proper bush camp. What do you mean? You're going to go fetch your own water. <laughs> One hour later. So what's happening, Dan? We just got gifted an amazing Christmas dessert. Dessert before dinner. Dessert before dinner. Mm -hmm. It's the way to go. It's where I like it. Very, very cool. So what are we eating? Um, it's a dessert cream. with uh, I taste some cream and there's some jelly and it's delicious. Somebody else made it. Yeah. Following the contours of my foot. The rice is on the boil. Is this the moment of truth? I think so. Okay, the four hour lamb shoulder. Well, it's three and a half. I just can't wait anymore. No. Is it ready? Mm -hmm. You checked, eh? I checked. How do you know? I come, I'll show you. That's how you know it's ready. It falls off the bone. You can just pull it and it all comes off. That's it. 
That's it. Ready. And remember, if you like this channel, <laughs> what do you have to do? You have to like and subscribe. Please, please. We value your subscriptions support. and we feel the love. <laughs> And it's a free way to support us.